Okay, so here is the problem uh, that I'm going to work. It was to find the uh, change in potential due to a dipole. So here's, here's my dipole. I have a minus and a plus, and they're separated by a distance s. And this is this is a minus q plus q in charge. It's a dipole. And then I want to find this. Let's call this the x direction. And this is uh, a and b. And I want to find the change in potential going from a to b. Okay, um, so let's just let's just get to to work here. Uh, what's the definition of change in potential? Uh, negative the integral from a to b of e dot dl. Okay, now in this case my dl is pretty easy. I'm going from here to there, so that's just in the x direction. So if I want to write it as a vector, I could. I could write it as uh, dx. Zero, zero. I'm not. I'm not moving at all in the y or z, so that's fine. Um, and the electric field also. I know the electric field due to a dipole. Um, I know that it. It. I can write it like this. Uh, one over four pi epsilon naught. Two q s over. Let's say, I'll say r cubed, and then this is going to be in the x direction, so one zero zero. Uh, so R is the distance between the center of the dipole and the point of location. So when I do this dot product, the only thing that I get is, is X, the X components. That's the only thing that survives. So this integral, if I, I'm going to call this now uh, X, okay, because we're in the X direction, then my integral becomes uh, delta V equals negative the integral from A to B. Uh, e X is just going to be this 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught 2 Q S over x cubed dx. So now all I have to do is integrate, and that's not so hard, right? Okay, so let's just pull out our constants. I get uh, negative 2qs, none of that changes, 4 pi epsilon naught, the integral of dx over x cubed equals, uh, I'm going to get a negative x, 1 over x squared, which is going to cancel with that. So let's write this as 2qs, um, and the 2's cancel too, because I can get another well, half. qs, 4 pi epsilon naught, and then I'm going to get 1 over x squared from a to b. So now I'll just evaluate that. I get uh, qs over 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 over b squared minus 1 over a squared. I'm done. I'm done, but I should check. Okay, let's check a couple things. First, if I have this, if the, if the positive charge is right here, the electric field's that way. So, if I'm going from here to there, I'm going in the same direction as the electric field, I should have a negative change in potential. Is this a negative change in potential? Well, that's positive, that's positive, that's positive. But I have 1 over b squared minus 1 over a squared, and b is larger than a, so this, this will give me a negative value. So that's good. Okay, what else can we check? Well, we can check the units. Um, just as a reference, the, the potential with respect to infinity for a point charge, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r. Okay, so it should have the same units as that. So I have the 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, I have the q, and then I have distance over distance squared, so I get the same units. Uh, we can check other things. What if, what if that A and B, what if they're right next to each other? What if, they, what if A is equal to B? The change of potential should be zero. And so if I get, uh, if I put A there, then this goes to zero. Okay, so that's good. Well, is there any other way to do the problem? Yes, there is. Uh, in this case, I use the electric field and integrated. But I just have two point charges. So I could say this, delta V equals uh, delta V plus plus delta V minus, where this is the change in potential due to the positive charge, and this is the change in potential due to the negative charge. Uh, and this is the potential. Now, that's a little tough in this case, because this assumes 
right here that we're far away. That doesn't. So it's, it's not wrong, it's just going to be messy. Let me just start writing it out, okay? So it's going to be um, the V plus uh, is going to be, this is going to be V B minus V A. So I'm going to get, okay, uh, Q over 4 pi epsilon naught. That's going to be in everything, so I'm just going to factor that out. Okay, so now I need the potential due to the uh, B minus A, so this is going to be, what's that distance? This is actually going to be 1 over B minus S over 2, because that distance is B, but I want that distance, so it's S over 2. And then I'm going to say subtract 1 over Oh, A, that's right, A minus S, A minus S over 2. Okay, that's the first change of potential. And then I need the second one due to the minus charge. Uh, I'm going to get minus, now I'm going to have a negative sign in there, negative 1 over uh, B plus S over 2, because it's further away, minus a neg. where's that minus coming from? That should be plus. Minus negative 1 over A plus S over 2. Okay, so you can see it's a lot messier. Then if you did the approximation that uh, B was much greater than S and A was much greater than S, you should get to the same thing. Yeah, but you'd have to get common denominators and get it all together, and that's where you get this S over S on the top. I, I think you should get it, but you can do that. Okay, okay I'm going to stop.